look, when you top up all the measures that the government has put in place, families, on average, are still £1,100 worse off. So your numbers are literally <laughs> made up. They're literally made up. And, you know, the analysis that we've done at the New Economics Foundation suggests that this year, one in three households and half, literally half of all our children are going to struggle to afford bread and butter things, are going to have to make day-to-day -day sacrifices just to stay afloat. And it doesn't feel like the government has grasped the scale of the challenge. Because if you had, if you had, you would have acted by now. And you talk about the lowest families, the Chancellor took £1,000 from those families last year. And then in the spring statement that we just had, there was literally not a single measure, not a single measure that would support families on the lowest incomes in this country. And there are things that you could do to act. And you're choosing not to, but there are things that you could do. So that windfall tax is a legitimate thing that you could do. Use that to bear down on bills for the next year to 18 months, whilst we have a Great Homes Upgrade, a national programme of home insulation, so we can insulate millions of homes over the next three years. And then you combine that with a 15 billion package to boost to benefits, so that families that are at the sharp end of this crisis that the Chancellor has left to languish, has left to languish, where people are moving well beyond the choice of heating your home or feeding your kid. They're not doing either. And for me, when we have families on the brink, when we have children going into destitution, when two million people in the richest country in the world are skipping meals because they can't afford it, the fact you're not acting, I think, is unforgivable. Yeah. That's a lot of